The National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, has reaffirmed its commitment to addressing the issue of abandoned vehicles which litter the roadways. The agency says the initiative is part of a broader strategy to enhance public safety, improve aesthetics, and promote environmental health within communities, and the recent acquisition of new equipment has enabled the operation. More from Trisha Gay Kelly. Portmore St. Catherine was handpicked to host the launch of the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA's special operation to remove old vehicles from roadsides, harboring mosquito breeding sites. Portmore's Mayor Leon Thomas says he did his part, but the project was stalled. We have suffered for a long time. We have served notices and derelict vehicles, garages, within the municipal cooperation, but we did not have the tools to carry out the removal of these derelict vehicles. The initiative comes less than a month after local government and rural development minister Desmond McKenzie announced that the special operation would commence as soon as the agency received new vehicles. And after receiving over 50 new trucks, they are ready to work. The minister explains the significance of the launch in the Sunshine City. And interestingly, Portmore represents one of those communities that fit the bill when we speak about bulky waste removal. Already, the team started as early as 7 a.m. this morning, Prime Minister. And they have done a tremendous amount of work. The exercise is to rid the country of old abandoned vehicles which often are eyesores. Prime Minister Andrew Holness adds removing the derelict will destroy many breeding sites for mosquitoes, especially as the government is concerned by the chance of the number of dengue cases going up. When we do this exercise, I guarantee you that the breeding sites for the mosquitoes will be removed largely and uh, your greater convenience of not having the mosquitoes terrorize you, your greater convenience will improve after this exercise. The initiative will extend island-wide, with Clarendon and other areas severely impacted by the hurricane next in line. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.